It was on accident. <laughs> Today we're checking out Firefly. This is 1X7. Last time in Firefly, Mal got hitched. Now, actually turned out she was an agent of the Alliance. So let's see what's going on today over in this neck of the galaxy, guys. So don't forget, smack the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, links down below if you guys want any of the extras. So let's see how Firefly is going on today. What's going on here? I use swear words like anybody else. Oh, He's just really? selective. Bye, Mal. Have good sex. She just said, have a good day at work. What do you mean? Oh. Whoa. My man is juiced up. Oh. What happened in here? Need to find some tape. So you had to tear my infirmary apart? Apparently. My God. You're like a trained ape. Oh, listen, man. I was in Ken a few years back. I might have made me a few enemies thereabouts. So. Enemies? You? No. How can it be? <laughs> just don't like the idea of going in there empty handed is all. Why are you still arguing what's been decided? And we are off. Tesla's our man. He's holding the goods we're to deliver. We go in, make contact, easy peasy. Easy peasy, in and out. You'd be surprised how many things it ends up in. Serenity's got more than a few ceramic parts in her. Really? Yeah. Simon should come with us. Go on, boy. See the sights. I can watch over your sister. I believe we've been developing a rapport. I'm not going that far, doctor, and you might maybe make yourself useful. They said go I'm socialize. Also, Jane is uh, most definitely going to get hit by an op, so we could use Simon. I am looking to buy some mud. Well then, <laughs> come to the right place. Uh, excellent. That's uh, as I said before. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be needing quite a bit of it. I. Uh, um, uh, Excuse me, boss. I'm sure the foreman has some things need attendance. Why don't we wander a bit, take a look at the operation, then you can figure on whether we get an account here. Take the hint. Yes. You haven't been here in years, Jane. You really think you need that get up? Oh, I was going to say, they probably got a you. statue of this guy, and they actually did. Damn, it's I was possible they like were. two seconds too late. What's the title? Okay. Bitch. See how bad of a mistake he made. They made a whole ass statue out of him. You wanna tell me how come there's a statue of you here and looking at me like I own something? I was here a few years back, like I said. Well, the second story stole a lot of scratch from the magistrate up on a hill. I had to hightail it. They don't put you on a pedestal in town square. This must be what going mad feels like. I think they captured him, though. Everywhere I go, his eyes keep following me. <laughs> come on, go around. Job. Yeah, they better start moving. He looks so suspect, bro. I have a feeling it will take all your arts to deal with this particular problem. Every problem, Mr. Higgins, is an opportunity in disguise. That is a bar. It's all about a perspective. What are we up to, sweetheart? Fixing your Bible. I, what uh, now? What? <laughs> oh no! I was broken. You, you can't. Hit. So we'll integrate non-progressional evolution theory with God's creation of Eden. Eleven inherent metaphoric parallels already there. <sighs> Evan. That's his personal Point copy too, you know. There's sentimental to sentimental value in that one. Comes out one. Noah's Ark is a problem. It's real. <laughs> we'll have to call it early quantum state phenomenon. It can't be a statue of me. No reason for it. it. Flies in the face of every kind of sense. Yeah, do some reconnaissance, Doug. Shake your head, boy. Your eyes are stuck. Get. You wouldn't be looking for Kessler. Last week, the factory foreman and his prog crew heard he was moving contraband through town. Gave him a peck of trouble for it. Rolled him into the bog. They peck pretty hard around here. Yeah. Listen, we just got to figure out how to get it across town without being seen by the foreman and his prods. I advise we all just lay low for a moment. <laughs> okay. Jane. Yes, tomorrow. The man they called Jane. Robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor. Oh, he's like a Robin Hood. Gotcha. The, man, the hero of Canton. The man they called Jane. Our Jane saw the mother's backs breaking. No, this must be what going mad feels like. They gave him his own bop. Turn around his plane and let that money hit the sky. I stole that money from Higgins, like the song says. Lifted me one of his hovercraft. Tagged by anti-aircraft, started losing altitude. Had to dump them strong boxes. It was on accident. Sixty thousand. <laughs> Andre. 
pretty small. It's we gotta go to the funny. crappy town. In here, River. <laughs> he was looking like I'd side there for a second. <laughs> out of your sim. What's that? <laughs> River? What the hell did you stick? Whoa. Shouldn't we be getting the hell out of here? I'd say that's a reasonable request given the circumstances. Well, the establishment's not gonna be happy that this guy's back in town. Oh, oh, the kid got him. Don't you understand? The prophecy. He's come back! What? Hero Canton won't be drinking that Shung Man, yeah. He drinks the best whiskey in the house! Now, let's see what's going on over here. I brought you here to bed, my son, not throw him a tea party. Sir. My son is 26 years old, and he ain't yet a man. And since he can't find a will and woman Higgins, himself... you're not allowed here. As I said, this room is a consecrated place of union. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go on and let us begin our work? No, listen here, yeah. I'm gonna give a prelude before they get to work. Well... Wow. I've saved lives. I retashed a girl's leg. She named her hamster after me. That's a flex. You are pretty funny. And you're pretty... That's it. Period. What did you just say? That mud got him speaking silly. Even when you're covering engine grease, you're... Ah. No, it's, it's especially, especially when you're covering engine grease. I think he's gonna fumble there for a second. There's no one in the roof is too heavy. He's say the ceiling will cave in. His brains are in terrible... <laughs> Yo, pain. River's really pushing of this one, eh? River? <laughs> too much hair. Is that it? If I didn't have stuff to get done, I'd be in there with her. He got his braids out. This Bible's all like ripped up. <laughs> you tell me that James... It's true. We can use it anyways. We talked a few yeah. pillars of the mutter community into having a little Jane Day celebration in town square tomorrow. <laughs> Jane Day? <laughs> Companions choose the people they're to be with very carefully. If your father had asked me to come here for him, I wouldn't have. When we put that statue of you in town square, he rolled in, wanted to tear it down, mm -hmm. but the whole town rioted. You guys had a riot? Without a beat? <laughs> On account of me? How could I stay away? <laughs> There's a problem in worker town, sir. Jane Cobb's come back. Dear God. What the hell are these? Done your time, you paid your debt, the time you were on your way. Oh, he's like prisoners or murderers or something? Keep me in that box four years. Four give years. me a loaded. But I'm not the one who brought you in on that robbery. I'm not the one who partnered up with you and then turned on you when his plan went south. How high up was that shuttle when he pushed you out? Jane Cobb. Back in town. You four years of your life. All right, Jake seeks. Jake. Uh, Jane is about to get clapped. Hey, Captain. Dude is slumped. And, no, I would never. Not with Kaylee. What do you mean, not with me? Where's my hero? Our love for me now ain't hard to explain. Where are you going? I'm going with you. Mm, I don't think so. No, maybe you ought to stay here. All right, seems like Simon's playing ball. Very quiet. I just thought I'd feel different Damn. after. Aren't I supposed to be a man now? A man is just a boy who's old enough to ask that question. You think we should be using my fame to hoodwink folks? It's a when dope t-shirt. I love that. Now, wow. Maybe there's something to this. It's a cool ass Mothers shirt. It's a really make a difference in their life. Text. Is that Jane? Wash, pinch me. I must be dreaming. Oh, hell, I'll pinch you. Do you really think we can get this stuff across town without being noticed? Gotta find it first. Let's find out. A criminal hearing? Criminal. Yeah, my father. Yeah. See, there's this man. Oh. He's become kind of a folk hero in Canton. Well, he's back. Apparently, he landed here yesterday. Yesterday. Uh-oh. She's starting to connect it. I, I know this man. <laughs> she thinks he's Mal? He just has this idiotic sense of nobility, you know? <laughs> so... You mean you actually know Jane? Jane? The hero of Canton. The only person I ever saw who stood up to my father. Okay, so he's with My him. dad had him traced back to his ship. He had port control, put a landlock on it. Jane will get back and find out that he's grounded. Yes, that would be bad. <laughs> She's distraught. Discombobulated, even. You're gonna take me that dirty, low-down shingle of a man. All right, let's see how Simon Fair is here. Sir. <laughs> Folks say you're part of Jane's team. 
So take me to your leader. Tell me, boy, I'll cut off every last bit of them good looks. He's going for it. <laughs> I see it. You people have been given the shortest end of the stick ever been offered a human soul in this crap heel verse. But you took that end. Well, you took it. Well, I guess that's something. Wow. Oh. That didn't sound half bad. Shots fired. <laughs> What's this about a hero can't? Four years of lockdown plays tricks on the ear. I ain't a hero, Stitch. Back we used to work together, he and I. Go for the tackle? Mal's creeping in. Oh! Whole lot of money in a magistrate safe, weren't they, Jane? Got away clean, too. He's exposing. But then our... You protect the man you're with. You watch his back. You get to talk me to death, buddy. Is that the plan? This is the plan. Oh, and he took the shot for him? Holy smokes. Jane. Poor kid. That's it. There it is. Get up. Get up. Please. Please. What you do that for? What's wrong with you? Still believed in him. You think there's someone just gonna drop money on you? Money they can use? Well, there ain't people like that. Damn. Harsh reality. There's just people like me. Very cathartic for him. It'd be kind of cool if he like set it up here at the end, or if that was a plan. Has there been a problem with takeoff? Is there a problem? We're fine. Hey, the boy came clutch. I set an override to port control, lifted the landlock on Serenity. He's so oh, giddy. <laughs> smile off your head. How dare you defy me? You, you wanted to make a man out of me, Dad. I guess it worked. He's about to drop. I thought he was about to step back and just drop kick him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, damn. Jane went through it a bit. It was their false prophet. Their hope. Should go through the New Testament now? What's going on? I mean, you like me well enough, and we get along, and then you go all stiff. I... What's so damn important about being proper? It's all I have. My way of being polite, or however it's... Well, it's the only way I have of showing you that I like you. Different love languages, I'm showing right? respect. So when we made love last night... When we what? You really are such an easy mark. <laughs> I am I'm with that ship. Why the hell did that mother have to go and do that for him, Hal? Jumping in front of that shotgun blast. It's my estimation that every man ever got a statue made of him was one kind of some bitch or another. Ain't about you, Jane. It's about what they need. Damn. Hit him hard. And that was my reaction video to Firefly scenes of number one, episode number seven, guys. Jane had a past in the trenches that we were unaware of, okay? He was with these mutters. Lo and behold, I thought maybe there was this other side to Jane that we had not known, but they kept it true to character. It was an absolute accident that was interpreted by these people as a Robin Hood scenario where he gave people the money. Um, but rea in reality, he was just being Jane. It was cool to see, you know, him go through the motions and actually feel the ramifications of people's lives were lost. It, it's not his fault that people believed in him to be this idol, this figure, or whatnot. Um, the pieces just fell in place and that's what happened here. But uh, what I liked about this episode was seeing Jane just sort of go through the motions of thinking he's a savior, so I'm gonna take, adva to take advantage of that scenario to help both the mission and his own personal benefit, but ultimately to feel the weight of the consequences of his actions um, and, and not coming clean. Eventually, his, his pilot, his co-partner, whatever it was, came back for a good old classic revenge plot. Failed, but uh, the message seemed to land. So I'm interested to see if how he's going to take that um, moving forward or just going to sort of be a blip and not really be remembered, um, which would be unfortunate. But uh, something too here is I loved Mal helping him along this episode here, whether it was just some of those subtle looks or, you know, the disapproval in, in his some of his facial reactions there. Pretty telling. 
as to how he felt about the scenario. Uh, sometimes Mal is a little, like, I can't get where he's going, but this is very clear. I also did enjoy the Kaylee uh, and Simon relationship, you know, developing by far the most that we've seen so far of the two of them. Uh, and it came off very genuine and um, sincere. Some of the early interactions were fairly stiff, um, obviously posh, posh doctor, quirky engineer, hard worker. Um, and they don't seem like they'd fit, but I mean, if you're in space, you're attracted to each other, things are gonna happen. Amidst the scenario, go the scenario going on, even Mal was trying to, you know, throw a lob here and there, so that was kind of fun to see. And uh, River and Shep uh, were the unexpected pairing this episode, and you know, it was it was playful, lighthearted. Also, not pulling out his hair, but his hair pulled out uh, from having to deal with with that. And uh, can't get mad at River, right? Like she's 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 got her issues. I thought that was a nice little side story there as well. Guys, that was Firefly 1x7. What did you think about this one? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Um, I'm kind of glad that they didn't do like a whole like 180 and, and you know, they just said, Jane's kind of a, a piece of work, not the greatest guy. And I um, think it caught up to him at the end of this one once he saw and felt uh, everything right in front of his face. That was it for this one. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smack the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, guys, I will see you all in the next one. Love y'all.